What's up guys? It's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough, the 2023 edition. Yes, we are in 2023. Yes. Anywho, in our last episode, we did something for the first time, and that was to show off the Slateport Battle Tent. That was a fun encounter, and I could have gone for more right there for more items and all that crud. But I decided that, you know what, let's just go ahead and move on to the next adventure right here. So, here we are going into Route 110, and uh, yes, we're going to be speeding it up. We're going to be battling a lot. And uh, which should I choose? Make a beeline for Mobile on the cycling road, or take the low road and look for Pokemon? If you guys haven't noticed, this is the cycling road right here. Unfortunately, we do not have a bike, so we won't be able to do, yeah, anything right here. And, uh, well, as many of you guys already know, there are some interesting Pokemon right here. And no, 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 Raiden is not part of the, the team right here. And once we make our way right here, Professor Birch is like, Oh, Draven, imagine seeing you here. And where might May be? Hmm, looking around. Oh, I see, you two are running separately. Well, that's fine. Oh yes, I heard that your Pokenav had the match call system installed. Well then, I should register you in my Pokenav as well. That way, even when we're apart, I can rate your Pokedex anytime. Hmm. I don't want my Pokedex rated. Not yet. Draven, please keep an eye out for my May. Well, I had better get going. See you again, Draven. Okay, whatever you say, homeboy. Um, let's see. So, we got battles to, uh, to take care of right here, guys. And you guys already know, I'm going to be speeding up these battles because, well, I know I can. Ha ha ha! I would go anywhere to show off my delightful Pokemon. Huh. When cute Pokemon help each other, you won't see more, uh, you won't see a more ador adorable sight. Oh, well, okay. He's not mistaken, I mean. <laughs> I do want to see adorable Pokemon see each other and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and take on the Pokefans. And we got a Plusul and Minun right here. These two Pokemon do good when they're actually with each other and all that crud. They do have the static ability, which means if you physically hit these Pokemon, yeah, the you will get paralyzed and you'll be just like Draven. Completely, you know angry about the fact that, you know, you keep on getting paralyzed and all that crud. So, we're gonna try and avoid all that stuff, and, well, yes. We're gonna try and uh, defeat all the plus who's in mind right here. There we go. And we're gonna try to make sure that these guys don't get any kind of ability, but as you guys can see, we are now paralyzed, and, well, there we go. Level 17 X boom, and, uh, yeah, Caleb has been defeated. Oh dear, this won't do! Have you no compassion or pity? Not really. I really don't. That wasn't close to what I, uh, I could do, or I could do to show off my Pokemon. I'll have you uh, as my captive audience as often as possible. Okay, and we get ourselves some, uh, yeah, we get ourselves some, uh, some more phone numbers right here. And, well, first things first, guys. We're going to be looking at the, uh, what was it called right here? We're going to be going into the Trick House right here because, well, there are some stuff that we need to actually see and keep an eye out for. And, uh, well, let's see. What do we do right here? Hmm. We need to paralyze heal and all that crud. So let's go ahead and use that. Grab that. Get Sage. And just like that, step inside the Trick House. And you take one step here and it's going to say, you're being watched. But if you guys haven't uh, haven't noticed, there is a little bit of a sparkle right there. Go to that sparkle and bam. Huh, grr. How did you know I concealed myself beneath the desk? You're sharp. Behold, for I am the greatest living mystery of a man in all of Hoenn. They call me the Trick Master. Ha ha ha, glad to meet you. You've come to challenge my trick house, haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your challenge accepted. Enter through the scroll there and let your challenge commence. I shall be waiting in the back. Okay. Alrighty. Let's do this. So, we go straight through this uh, scroll right here. And you're going to see quite a few things. Like, uh, yeah, those trees right there. Make sure to have a Pokemon that knows cut. Because, well, that is going to be useful when we come into these situations. And, well, here we are taking on uh, this lady right here. And she's like, I'll hack and slash my way to, into victory with the cut I just learned. Mm-hmm. Okay, bring it on. Here comes Lass, and uh, well, we're gonna be battling her with good old Sea Blade right here, and yes, getting poisoned. I just realized something. I didn't bring any antidotes. Crap baskets. 
Let me see. Did I bring any antidotes? Oh my god, I was just in that... Yeah, I was just in the... Yeah, okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to use another Pekka Berry. Pecha, Pekka, and we're gonna have to... Yeah, we're gonna have to grow these things again. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut this, uh, cut this down right here. Look at that. Cut attack. And there we go. Now, the, the goal of this whole thing right here is to find a scroll for the passwords. That's all there is to it. And eventually you're going to be battling Pokemon along the way, so this is a good place to actually train up your Pokemon if you're going to be going into the third gym battle. For those who don't know, the third gym battle is going to be a little bit more tougher than usual because, well, it's not just an electric type gym leader, but the other capabilities his Pokemon can do. So let's go ahead and do that, cut this, and well, go right here, and bam. Look at that, okay, and we're gonna cut this one right here. And bam. Alrighty, so usually you'll be finding some kind of uh, rare mail right here. This time around, you're gonna find the orange mail, and that won't do anything. Now, you guys noticed that I bought myself a harbor mail over at the, over at Slayport City. That will be useful for later on once we get to Mob Vale. And we're gonna go here. And what is going to happen right now is we're going to go switch it up. Let's go with the X-Boom. Hopefully, maybe, just maybe, try and, uh, well, train up some Pokemon. Just who is the Trick Master? Hmm, the Trick Master. Bring it on. So, let's go right ahead and start beating up these Pokemon trainers. Let's go with an uproar. And now we are in love. Oh my god. Come on. Okay, that is ridiculous. This is why we need another Pokemon, and I am a male, so let's go. There we go. And Shroom is just coming out. Seablade, ready to go. And hopefully we don't get poisoned. There we go. Here comes a Meryl. Let's go straight for Sage. And Bullet Seed for the win. And just like that, we have defeated another trainer. Yep. Okay. So let's go ahead and find the scroll. And what ends up happening, we memorize the secret code written on the scroll. Okay. And, well... Let's go right ahead and find our way out of here. Obviously, there is going to be one more trainer right there, and I'm pretty sure he's going to look at me right when I open that thing. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see. I got to use a soda pop just yet. Let's go ahead and use some potions. Alrighty, and you know what? Another potion won't won't hurt right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and cut this, and just like that, we are open. And we're going to be battling one more kid, and he's like, I wandered into this weird house by accident. You don't say. Okay, bring it on. Here we have Youngster Eddie. Let's go ahead and speed it up. And uproar, we'll do our trick right here. And here comes another Zigzag Goon. Let's go for Sage of the Halo right here. Bullet Seeds. For the win, and we get to level 22, which is great. And, well, look at that. Look at that, we have, uh, we have one, and we're, we need to cut through these whole locations right here. And, well, what we need to do now is, a Draven wrote down the secret code on the door, Trickmaster is fabulous! And it has opened. Okay. So, after doing that, the Trickmaster is going to be like, Ah, you found me! Hmm, you're sharp! It took me all night to plant all those trees! Almost my equal in greatness by one, two, three, four, five, six places. Fine, you've earned this reward. We got ourselves a rare candy, which I will be using later on. Scrub that smirk off your face. It's too much or too early to think that you've won. I'll make new tricks and uh, tricks and stump you. I will, uh, or I will. You may mock me only when you're done. Come back for the next exciting installment. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. That's cool. So, let's get the heck out of here, because uh, we don't need any of this mess right here. And, well, let's see, what exactly do we need to do now? First is first, guys, I'm gonna heal up my Pokémon, buy some antidotes, and move on to the next thing, and that is battle everybody else and all that crud. So, I will be back back in just a little bit, guys. Okay, guys, so I was a little bit convinced, and uh, this is while I was capturing some Pokémon off-screen. Yes! The next Pokemon on our team for just a little bit is this Pokemon right here, Gulpin. If you guys don't know, Gulpin kind of looks like a stomach. Or it's a prime example of a stomach right here. 
And uh, the reason why I want to get Gulpin is for more of a strategic standpoint, because eventually it becomes a very, very bulky, uh, what was it called again? Swalot, yes. But like I was saying, guys, yeah. It is going to be a temporary member. Hopefully we evolve it going into, you know, its evolutionary stage right there. Like I said early on in this whole walkthrough, guys, we're going to be using a lot of Pokemon. Just like in Fire Red, we're going to be experiencing a lot of Pokemon and, yeah, making one solid team. So here it is, guys. Gulpin, the stomach Pokemon. This Pokemon's stomach fluid can't even digest scrap iron. In one gulp, it can swallow uh, something that is as large as itself. Oh, crud. Okay. So, I already, th I already thought of the nickname of this Pokemon right here. You know, it's because of its typing and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and nickname this Pokemon Venom. That's right. Venom. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So, here we are back. And let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Venom. Our newest temporary Pokemon. So here we have Venom, the poison type Pokemon. It does have the ability Liquid Ooze. And what Liquid Ooze does, it pretty much causes damage to any Pokemon who tries to use any kind of Mega Drain, Absorb, uh, what was it, Leech Life. Yeah, that will cause it any kind of injury. And as you guys can see, it does have a naive, uh, naive nature. So. I'm going to take a look at this right here for the naive nature in my phone, and this right here will actually help us with our speed. Well, our special defense goes down, so that's, that. I guess that's a pretty good stuff right there. And off screen, yes, I was training my Pokemon up to level 15 so it can learn Sludge. That way, you know, we actually have it a, a chance against all these other trainers right here. So, we're going to be moving on. Here we are in Route 103, and what we're going to do first is we're going to be double battling, we're going to be speeding up everything, and, uh, well, hopefully we, uh, we get some more stuff right here. Alrighty. Let's go. Whoa! How'd you get into this, uh, this, uh, the, or a space this small? Mm-hmm. I, 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 I don't know. I'm not that I'm not that big or anything like that. So here we go, taking on some two new trainers right here, and one is a black belt and the other one's a guitarist. And yes, we're gonna be taking on an electric type Pokemon and a fighting type. So hopefully we actually do some good right here. Alright, let's go with this oh actually sludge attack won't do any good with uh, that guy, so let's go straight for that and that and speed it up. There we go. Keep it going. There we go. Bullet seed for the win. And here comes another sludge attack. Sludge attack again. And look at that. Venom doing its thing. Holy crud. All right. Level 23. We have learned Screech. This one's actually going to work. Uh, it's actually going to help us out just a little. So let's go right ahead and take away Pursuit for just the time being. So there we go. One, two, and three. Pursuit has been taken away. We got Screech. That's actually going to help us out in the long run. It's actually helped me, helped me out quite a bit. <laughs> Okay, so, let's see, what's next right here? Alright, we got an item. Let's pick this up. We got ourselves a PP up. This will actually raise up our... Any of our attacks is PP for just a little bit. And here we have some more berries. Look at that, cherry berries. Doing its thing, yeah. Okay, cherry berry. Here we have two lump of berries. And another cherry berries, I guess. I, I don't know. Let's see, cherry berries. Yes, cherry berries again. Actually, we need to do that again. Okay, so here we are, cherry berries away. And, well, let's move on to the next thing. Here we have an item. Found ourselves a guard spec, which is pretty much the haze in uh, item form right there. And as you guys can see, we do have more trainers, so we're going to be speeding through these guys right here, too. Did you feel the tug of our soul soothing fragrance? Maybe. I don't know. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Aroma Lady Daisy. She's gonna be coming out with a good old Shroomish right here. And of course, we are paralyzed, and of course, <laughs> it used the Zorb and it hurt itself because of my ability. That is awesome. Okay, so let's move on right here, guys. Let's go with Sea Blade. I knew it was a good idea to actually get Venom. So let's go. Oh my god, Sea Blade grows to level 20. Daisy has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. You guys don't know, my sister's name, Daisy. That is hilarious. Every time I beat somebody here, I think of her and all that stuff. Okay, so let's see. Paralysis. You hate it. You get paralyzed all the friggin' time. So let's go here with Venom. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and do another double battle. 
We battled together as one team. Hmm. Alrighty, here we go. Take it on the twins, Amy and Liv. And they're coming out with plus a little minum. Should be a fantastic uh, matchup right here. Let's go with a sludge attack to this guy and a bullet seed to that guy. And yes, you are poisoned, my friend. There we go. And yes. Okay, so Venom, you've been a great addition so far. And well, after defeating these girls, they're going to be giving us their number two. Off screen, I have been getting phone calls too, so not for battles, but it's just something else. And well, let's go right ahead and battle another trainer right here, a Poke fan. And his name is Miguel, coming out with the Skitty. And, well, let's go right ahead and use Venom right here. And Sludge Attack's actually going to be working for us. So here it is. Venom grows to level 17. And he's trying to learn Amnesia. This is a very, very good move right here, because it is a Psychic-type move. Amnesia forgets something and sharply raises his special defense. Which, yeah, we kind of need that because, well, yeah, our special defense is going to be ruined with our naive nature and all that crud. So there we go, we've learned Amnesia. Pretty good move right there. And, well, Miguel has been defeated. Alrighty, Venom's kicking some butt right now. And he does want to give us his phone number two, so there we go. And, well, let's move on right here. We got two more trainers. This guy looks like a water type trainer, so let's go ahead and switch him out to Sage. And bring it on. God, my fishing line's all snarled up. I'm getting frustrated and mean. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and speed it up. And yes, he does have some. Uh, he does have some uh, Pokemon like Magikarp. So let's just continue on right here. Quick attack, and just like that, we have defeated another trainer. Yes. And what do you have to do? If you cross the sea from here, it will be a shortcut to Oldale Town. <laughs> That's useful, isn't it? Yes, it is. And I think there is an item right here that we haven't gotten yet. Oh, never mind. Okay, so next step is we're going to have to go straight up to Mob, or yeah, we're going to have to go north right here, so, or east, and then a bunch of repels right here, because there will be some Pokemon that you probably don't want to be messing around with, so there we go, grab this, found ourselves a dire hit, which will actually increase our critical hit, and we're going to be battling another trainer here, and he's like, I found some cool Pokemon in the grass around here. Oh, you don't say. Okay. So, here we go, taking on Timmy, and he does come out with an Auron. Funny, uh, fun fact that it's still a Rock-type Pokemon, so just be aware of all that. And here we have Venom coming out one more time, going with a Sludge Attack, and just like that, we have defeated our opponent again. Okay. Look at that. Okay, so we gotta heal up our Pokemon right here because, uh, yeah, I kinda, I kinda feel kind of feel a disturbance in the force right here so let's go right ahead and switch up our Pokemon let's go with the uh, X boom right here I think it can actually help us out right now and I think there might be a hidden item right here somewhere but check correctly right here nope okay never mind but I'm still looking still looking and once we cross this area right here hello hello there hi Draven long time no see well I was searching for other Pokemon my Pokemon grew stronger so how about another little battle? It's not like we don't have any choice. Okay, so here it is. Battle number three, I think, against Pokemon Trainer May, And she is coming out with her Wingle right here. And, well, we're going to go with an uproar while she comes in with a wing attack right here. Holy bat. Oh, wow. Holy buckets right here. And, well, this uproar is causing an uproar. Of course, it's going to increase in attack every single time. And here comes another wing attack. That right there hits us hard. And, oh, nearly defeats Wingle. Crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. And there goes X-Boom. Okay, so that's not good. Let's go with our newest Pokemon, Venom. I was saving Venom for a little bit later right there. And, well, let's go straight for a Sludge Attack. And, well, there's that Water Gun Attack. Crap baskets. There we go. And there you go. All righty. Look at that. Okay, Venom's kicking some butt right here. And you know what? We're going to stay right here. All right, Kabuskin. You should have been my Pokemon, but I'm going to do you a little solid right here. We're going to fart on you. And 
Well, let's go with poison gas. Doesn't work. Crap baskets. Okay, one more. Come on. Got a fart on this guy. And that wasn't a critical hit. Crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. Okay. Um, super potion. And there we go. There it is. Ember attack. And that hits us hard, so let's go with another poison gas. Come on, let's go, Venom. Crap baskets. Okay, so let's go with a Sea Blade right here. All right, Sea Blade. Level 20. Let's go with a water gun attack. Finish this guy off right here. And there we go. Super effective. Mind you, it is also a fighting type Pokemon, so yes. We can defeat this guy very, very easily. And there you go. Look at that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There we go. Sea Blade. Getting some more points, and she is coming out with a long brace. So let's just continue on right here. Let's use Sea Blade right here. And there's a lombre. Originally, I wanted to catch a lombre if I had had a, a a trico, I think. Named it Olay. Imagine all the jokes that would come out. And wow, here comes Swift Attack, and that nearly defeats us right there. So here goes Sea Blade for the win. Look at that. So there goes lombre. Olay. And Seablade grows to level 22 and is learning Mist. Now this, this, uh, this move right here is a pretty good cover because it actually prevents any kind of status effects. Kind of like, you know, paralysis, poison, and all that stuff. And there we go. We have defeated Trainer May. She's like, yikes, you're better than I expected. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Draven, you've been busy training too, haven't you? I think you deserve a reward. This is from me. And we have found ourselves an item finder. And she's gonna be like, that's an item finder. Try it out. If there's any item that's not visible, it emits a sound. Okay, Draven, let's meet again. I know it's a little silly coming from me, but I think you should train a lot harder for the next time. Yeah, you're not kidding, so I am gonna take that personally. Anywho, I'll be right back, guys. Gotta heal up my Pokemon. Alrighty, so here we are, guys, back. And, well, we need to actually use some repels because, well, yeah, we kind of need to, uh, yeah, get away from these Pokemon. Gotta heal my Pokemon a lot, and I mean a lot, a lot. So let's go, and we're getting a phone call from Miguel. And I really don't care about your battles, man. I'm gonna beat you anyway. So here we are, and we're gonna be going into another double battle right here. So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be teaming up both Venom and x Cloud or x boom just to take these guys on right here. And, well, here we go. Double trouble and everything else. Okay. So, let's go right ahead and speed it all up right here. Okay, so here comes Lombre and Electric. And this is actually going to be a little easy for us. So let's go with an uproar. And, of course, we're going to get paralyzed. Go figure. There we go. And there we go. Let's get it. And bam. X boom. Grows to level 19. And well, here comes a Voltorb. So now it's a double, double, a double trouble battle right here. And just like that, bam. We have, we have won. Okay. Alrighty. That's how we do it. And we need to heal up our Pokemon because, yes, paralysis is just a big, big thing right here. It's freaking annoying. Okay. Let's go ahead, and yes, we're going to get a match call uh, phone number from this guy right here, too. So, let's go right ahead, and uh, let's see. Let me see. Let me, let me, let me, paral or let me heal up my paralysis Pokemon. And, of course, I fail to, I fail to actually buy some more paralysis heal because, well, this, this should be the place. So, let's go right ahead and move on forward. I think there might be a hidden item here somewhere. I do have an, an item finder, which I don't want to use. Um, screw it. Let's go ahead and battle people. And you know what? Let's battle them. Let's do a double battle. Now, I recognize that girl. She is a psychic. Do not want any piece of her with my venom. So, let's go straight to Sage of the Halo right here. And let's battle these people. I have foreseen your intentions. I cannot possibly lose. I fell off Cycling Road. I'll get over my embarrassment by battling you. Okay, so my question is how... Like, how tall is, or how far off is it from the ground? I don't know. So, here we go, taking on a Psychic, and yes, like I said, we do not want to mess with that Pokemon right there. So, let's go quick attack onto Magnemite. Just realize this, that Magnemite is, oh my god, wasted us with just one attack. Okay. It is a Steel-type Pokemon, 
So, Gant, or, you know, any poison type moves will not work against it. And just like that, we have defeated another Pokemon trainer right there. Bam. Okay. Okay, so, let's see. Is that a revive? Nope, that's an elixir. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to go back and heal up my Pokemon. I, I, I should probably just use this rare candy to revive Seablade right here. So there it is. It is revived. And, uh, actually, hold on just a sec. If you guys didn't know that, that you can actually do that, then, well, there it is, guys. You can actually revive a Pokemon through a rare candy. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go to X-Boom. Try to get him to level 20. And, bam. Let's go right here. Again, another phone call. Seriously, you people need to stop calling me. Okay. First and foremost, let's get these Nana Berries. There we go. And I'm actually going to speed these up because I really don't want to, like, you know, go through the tax and all that stuff. So there we go. And, uh, well, we got a trainer right here. Hey! Don't sneak up behind me like that. Okay, shoot, damn. Somebody's angry. And here we have another fisherman, and his name is Dale. And he is going to have some, you know, pretty awesome, uh, water-type Pokemon right here. Such as Whalmer, and, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I kinda asked for that. Oh, Jeebus. Okay, so this is the first time we're, we are encountering a Whalmer. And it, yeah, it is a very, very powerful uh, Water-type Pokemon once you level it up. And we're gonna go up against another Whalmer right here. Let's go Bullet Seed for the win. And just like that, we have defeated another Whalmer. Okay! And there we go. And let's talk to this guy. Yeah, nothing too interesting right here. Okay, so here we are, guys, in Mauville City. And, uh, well... In the next episode, we're going to be doing a lot of battling, a lot of training, guys. We're not going to be going into the gym just yet. I think it will be towards the very end of the next episode, I believe. And, uh, yeah. It, and like I said, it's going to be very, very fun. We might even capture a new Pokemon. We might not. It does. It, it, it really depends on what happens. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient, as always. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, click on the button right down there. You know, heart button. And I will be ready for that donation, too. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time as we continue our adventure right here in Pokemon Emerald. See you guys.